The main building of Lviv Polytechnic National University is an architectural monument of the 19th century. It is built in the historicism fashion, incorporating the complementary themes of neoclassicism. The building's interior is similar to the Technical University of Vienna, and probably not by accident. The architect Julian Zakaryevich, who later became the university's rector, had studied in Vienna. The construction lasted from 1873 until 1877. It was a really big event. It was covered by journalists, and it united business and financial institutions of that time. The construction bank supervised the building process. The private railway of Karl Ludwig gave a 50% discount on the delivery of construction materials from Brody and Ternopil. The monumental facade is decorated with the sculptures of Leonard Marconi, a Lviv sculptor of Italian origin. They form an allegory of engineering, architecture, and mechanics, the three main faculties of that time. However, the exterior is only a small part of the university's elegance. Immediately at the entrance to this Lviv Polytechnic, you are welcomed by a wide and solemn entrance hall decorated with sculptures that symbolize science. The ceremonial neo-Renaissance interior is decorated in contrast to the strict forms of the facade. It boasts a glass ceiling surrounded by murals, stucco balustrades, and metal lanterns. They prepare visitors for the main attraction, the assembly hall. In this elaborate room, walls are lined with columns, mirrors, and imitation marble. The ceiling is decorated with gilt wood carvings and majolica in Italian tin-glazed pottery dating back to the Renaissance period. <laughs> Many efforts are being put into maintaining the legendary hall in its original form. At present, the authentic, unique colors of the columns are being professionally restored as they carefully remove the more modern coating. The original interior of the library, meanwhile, has been preserved. It has a completely wooden ceiling with carved beams and carved oak boards in the Flemish Renaissance style. A wooden spiral staircase leads to a mezzanine. It has not lost its original appearance thanks to the natural wax treatment. This is a rather grandiose work that delights people. It's very nice that it survived the First World War. After all, when Galicia was occupied by Russian troops, Lviv Polytechnic served as a hospital for them and most of the furniture and wooden decorations were destroyed in 1877 for heating the premises. Now, the former library serves as a museum and an exposition hall of the university. In fact, the whole building of Lviv Polytechnic National University deserves to be called a museum.